Hello friends, welcome to Unity Essentials video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss creating and editing prefabs. We understand what are prefabs, how do we create them and edit them. What is a prefab? Prefab is a reusable template. Prefab is a wrapper for a game object and its associated components. Prefab wraps a game object and its associated components. Why do we create prefabs? Prefabs are created to reuse game objects in one or more scenes. It's used to reuse guys. Let's understand how do we create prefabs. I go to Unity. I'm going to create one table here. In the previous video tutorial, we understood how do we create composite objects, right? We create tables with the help of cubes, right? I say game object, 3D object, cube. I press F key to focus. Let me rotate it around so that I can see it properly. Okay. I scale it in x axis by 5 units. I scale it in y axis by 0.5 units. I scale it in z axis by 6 units. I zoom back. This is going to become the table top guys. So I select the cube, press F2 key, rename it to table top. Hit enter. Next I am going to create table legs. I say game object, 3D object, cube. I scale it in x axis by 0.5. Scale it in Y axis by 5 units. Scale it in Z axis by 0.5 units. I select the cube. Then I hold down the V key to enable the vertex snapping. Then I snap it to one of the corner. I rotate around. Say Ctrl D to duplicate. Drag it to the other side. Hold down the V key. Snap it. I rotate around. Ctrl D to duplicate. Drag it to the other side. Hold down the V key. Snap it. Rotate around. Ctrl D to duplicate. Drag it to the other side, hold down the V key, snap it. I select the cube to cube 3, I rename them to table leg, I hit enter. We are going to group all of them into one game object called as table. I say game object create empty. I press F2 key, rename it to table, hit enter. This is going to become the pivot of our table guys. I select the table top to table leg, I drag them onto table. Now we have successfully created a table. You can see that. Next thing we need to understand how do we create prefab for this table game object. If I want to reuse this table in multiple scenes, I have to create prefab guys. So to create a prefab, one of the simplest step is just drag the game object directly to the assets folder. You can see that the table prefab is created. So I just told that here, drag the game object directly into a folder created for storing prefabs. If you have created a folder called as prefab, you can directly drag your game object into that prefabs folder guys. That's it. There is another way we have. Go to assets menu, say create, say prefab, name the prefab, hit enter key, then drag the object to the prefab. Let me demonstrate that. I go back to unity. I select this table, say delete. I say delete. Go to assets menu, say create, say prefab. Name it as table, hit enter, then drag the table game object onto the prefab. That is how you create a prefab guys. Next we understand how do we create instances. Drag the prefab into hierarchy panel or into the scene to create an instance. Once you create a prefab, you can create infinite number of instances of it guys. Let me go back to unity. If I click and drag into the hierarchy, you can see that it has created one instance with the name table1. I drag it to the left side. We can directly drag the prefab into the scene also. Like this. I say delete. I drag this table prefab into the hierarchy and I drag it to the other side. Okay. So now we have three tables or three instances of the table prefab. All these three objects are linked to this prefab guys. Let's understand how do we edit prefabs, editing prefabs. First we have the select button, selects the prefab asset from which the selected game object was created. I go back to unity, if I select the table, it has three buttons here, select, revert and apply. If I click on the select button, it selects a prefab asset from the assets folder from which the table game object or the selected game object was created. I select the table 1, we know that table 1 is created from the prefab table. If I say select, you can see that it is selecting the table prefab. So the select button 
selects the prefab asset from which the selected game object was created. Next, we have apply button. Any modification done to an instance are applied to its prefab. I go back to Unity. I select this table. I scale it in x-axis by 2, y-axis by 2, z-axis by 2. Now, I made modification to this table instance, right? If I want to apply all these modifications to the prefab, we click on the apply button. Once I clicked, if I select the table prefab, you see its scale is set to 2 by 2 by 2. And all its instances got updated to 2 by 2 by 2 guys. Right? Let me select this table. I scale back to 1 by 1 by 1. And once I click on the apply button, you see all instances got 1 by 1 by 1. And if you see the table prefab, its scale value set to 1 by 1 by 1. That's what the apply button does guys. That is the purpose of apply button. Next thing, any edits made to a prefab are immediately affected to all its instances guys. If you make any modification to the prefab, immediately those modifications are going to get affected to instances. So for example, if I select the prefab, say here 2 by 2 by 2, all instances got 2 by 2 by 2. If I say 1 by 1 by 1, all instances got 1 by 1 by 1 scale, right? Next thing, what is the work of revert button? Revert button reverts a broken instance to an instance of a original prefab. Reverts a broken instance to an instance of a original prefab. That means we can break the link between the instance and the prefab guys. Let me go back to Unity. I select this table. I select its one of the leg and I say delete. You can see it is giving me a message that this action will break the prefab instance. It is telling me that the link between this table instance and the table prefab is going to be deleted. Are you okay? If I say continue, you can see the leg is deleted and you can also observe here this game object name is in a black color. These two game objects name are in blue color. If you see game object name in blue color, that means that game object is the instance of some prefab. Now we have broken the link between this table and the table prefab guys. Now, it is not the instance of the table prefab. If I have to demonstrate that, I select the table prefab. If I scale it 2 by 2 by 2, you can see that whatever modifications I am doing to the table prefab, they are only getting applied to its instances. Here, only table 1 and table 2 are instances. So, they are 2 by 2 by 2 guys. This table is still 1 by 1 by 1 because it is a broken instance. I select this say 1 by 1 by 1. What if you want this table should again become the instance of this table prefab? Now we need to link back. To link back, we click on the revert button. What revert button does? Reverts a broken instance to an instance of the original prefab. So it makes this broken instance as the instance of the original prefab. So I say revert. Once I made revert, you see it got its leg back. That's what the revert button does guys. It links the broken instance back to the prefab. So I hope you guys have clearly understood what are prefabs, how do you create prefabs, how do you create instances of prefabs, what are the meanings of select button, apply button and revert button. I think for this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again. Understand everything clearly. Try yourself. In the upcoming video tutorials, we get more information. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.